Good morning from Kilmarnock. It's an early start today. You were on the video the last time yeah, well, I yeah. came to Kilmarnock versus Celtic. It's Killy Celtic again today. Yeah. You beat them last time, uh, which was a bit of a shock. But do you think you can beat them again today? Well, I think we haven't changed much uh, throughout the season. It's been a very stable pattern for us. Yeah, there's been wins and there's been losses. Uh, all I can hope is we go in today, perform the same way we did uh, a few months back and hope for a win. And you're currently, is it sixth in the table? Sixth, I'm sure, yeah. Which, for Killy, means you're only one place behind the European places. Yeah, indeed, yeah. I hope for a conference league. Hope, yeah. hopefully Still early days football. in the season, Still but you're starting to dream? Yeah, still have time to progress, so all we can do is hope our dreams become reality. And um, what do you think the lads have got to do then for the, like this <laughs> second half of the season, after the new year, to actually secure that? I think it's about guaranteeing the bonding between the lads, uh, the chemistry. Chemistry means so much in sports, I think that's what really get us to see our European football position through. And what I've seen here recently is not just chemistry within the squad, but I feel like the fans. Fans as well. The whole club in general, it just seems like everyone's yeah. pulling in the same I direction. I believe Kilmarnock have one of the strongest fan bases around uh, in Scotland. One of, maybe not the are, but yeah, yeah. definitely one of, yeah. yeah. Are you happy with how things are going with Kelly at the moment? Aye, aye, they're doing well. Yeah, they're sick just now. Aye, that win, it'd be dodgy, a good win. You're struggling a little bit last season, so it's good to see Kelly doing well. Aye. Playing Celtic today. You've already beaten them this season in the League Cup. Do you think you can beat them again? Aye, that win at Pitodri during the week, it could, it's massive. We could get the confidence to go on and win again, even though I've already beat them. That could be my confidence. Yeah, I agree. And what's the score going to be today? I 2-1 Kelly. Mackay Stephen, last minute winner. Gavin, we meet again? Yes, indeed. We spoke this time last week, Celtic were away to St Johnston. Today it's Kilmarnock for them. What are your thoughts going into the game? I think it'll be a completely different Celtic performance today. I think they will. I think they maybe got a fright last week. You can see Brendan Rodgers was still angry after the game last week. So I think, from that point of view, you'll probably see Celtic go for it. It's starting to get really wet outside now. So I think that might just suit them a little bit better to zip it about the, the artificial surface. But. That being said, Kilmarnock have got, what, 14 points, I think, at home this season. They're doing really well, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, they've scored, I think, 14 at home. They've only conceded six. So, I think from that point of view, it's it's going to be tough and it really is becoming a bit of a fortress again at Rugby Park. And behind you there, Kilmarnock in Europe. I know it's, it's been a while for them, um, but they're not too far off. And the way, the inconsistencies with some of the Hibs's, the Hearts's and the St Mirren's this season, can you see a world where Killy can go on a run and finish in a European place? Why not? Why, why absolutely not? I think I think it could happen. Um, Denny McInnes talks a lot about the team having this top six mentality and having that swagger about them and believing in themselves. And I think they're in that top six now and he wants them to stay there for as long as they can. They may well drop out for a couple of games or so. Dundee are right behind them right now. But as you rightly say, hearts are, are not really you know where they probably should be at the moment. Stephen Naismith would be the first to admit that. So I think they're still... There's still a chance that they could finish in the, the European space, these, and I think there's a, there's a huge appetite for that in Ayrshire now. Here he is, he's back. What's happening, you alright? Kilmarnock again, yes, I'm back as well. Man. We're in the rain today. Yep. How do you think that'll affect the game? It'll make it more difficult for ourselves, obviously Celtic just to that kind of wet surface, but you know what, I don't feel anything is coming towards it. We've beat them at the start of the season, we've got to beat them again. And what, how do you think Scottish football is right now? The teams are getting knocked out of Europe, obviously yep. Rangers, they'll have European football, we don't know if it'll be the Conference League or the Europa League. The league's looking like it was going to go to Celtic, the Cups, not sure, but how do you think Scottish football is this season? Scottish football's always good, you know what I mean? Like, I always say that myself, I'd rather watch Hibs and Hearts and Crystal Palace and Wolves, you know what I mean? It brings more passion, it's a passionate league. Everybody talks about it being the Farmers League, but I'll tell you one thing, it's no money driven, it's a passionate league. We don't come down and there's no different people in different seats, it's the same people in the same seats and that's what it's all about. It's all about bringing good money, good people to Scottish football.
the game has kicked off. A little bit of a kick clash. Um, they look slightly similar with a lot of white on both of, the ho uh, both of their home shirts. of the game so far. It's been a bit of a boring one if I'm being totally honest with 30 minutes in. That's the closest anyone has come. Killy have hit the woodwork now. Again, always wild celebrations when Celtic score away from home. And there's some good limbs there, and it is 1 0 to the champions. Kilmarnock nil, Celtic one. <laughs> Killy have come close a few times today, to be fair. Chance for Robbie Dees. Oh, he's been on the channel a couple of times before. He's having a good season for Killy. Getting excited, these two. As good as atmospheres can be in Scotland. The last few weeks in the top tier. Not been the best at some of the games I've been at, if I'm honest. Team for Celtic this season, Kilmarnock. Big 15 minutes ahead of them here, see if they can maybe win it or Celtic's come back. <laughs> Kyogo's coming on for Iwata, I think. So an attacking change, obviously, from Celtic and Brendan Rodgers. They've not been convincing this season, Celtic. Particularly today, but this season, yeah. Not been as fun to watch as last season. They were spoiled with Ange, I feel like, the fans with the intensity and the fun and the success. It's always going to be hard to replicate. Um, and they've not been great today. Killy are really getting on top now in these later stages of the game. Huge. Eight minutes of stoppage time. You can hear what the 
Killy fans think about that. Eight minutes. Eight. Seven thousand seven hundred and six attendance today. That's just been read out. Probably half would be Celtic, I'd imagine. Killian just keeping it up the Celtic end. Absolutely fantastic. What a performance. Two wins against Celtic here this season. For Two wins against Celtic and also Rangers at the start of the season. Obviously Celtic was a cup game, but see the thing is, it's becoming a regular occurrence now. It's just what I expect it, do you know what I mean? We said at the start, I knew it was going to be 2-1, but we never said it on camera. Why does um, why does Killy find it easier playing against Celtic and Rangers than they do against like Ross County? They lost against Ross County shortly after beating Celtic and Rangers earlier this season. Why do they do better in the bigger games? I think we always talk, we talked about that at the start. Obviously Celtic are the more dominant team, so they're going to bring the firepower on top. When you hold off the back of them, you catch them in the counter, mm. and the gaps that are open, and you just execute it. Whereas when they're expected to play, they struggle a little I, bit more? I feel, I feel as though the pressure more with the weird teams, and then that opens up our gaps, yep. and then that's where our pressure's come on, on board. And Killy are fifth now, so yeah. you've got to be looking up for Europe. Obviously, there's a long way to go, but... Still a long way to go, but you know what? The dream is you alive. Can dream, you can dream. Exactly, and um, I spoke to you earlier, and on the video said, league look, looks like it's going to Celtic. I think Rangers have been so poor in so many of their games, yep. I just couldn't see a world where they could win the title. Now, after this result, I'm starting to think maybe the, the league's looking a little bit tighter than what I thought it would be. What do you reckon? It all comes down to the 30th, doesn't it? So it all comes down to that game, and then obviously I think Celtic's got a game in hand. But it comes down to the 30th. Whoever takes the three points that game, it's you, you like to see a bit of competition in the yeah. league. But it's, you know the thing is, Kelly won the day. That's what I'm happy about. And definitely. there was seven and a half thousand people here today. I'm yep. sure over half of them were Celtic probably fans. Celtic fans. I, Why should more people come and watch Kelly? It's passion. You know what I mean? Let's see how. It's, it's, a, it's a real family vibe, do you know what I mean? Like you're really welcomed here. Like other places you're just a number, but here you actually feel like you're, you're a genuine person. Like you know the person that sits next to you, but it's Celtic, you're just a number in another seat. Do you know what I mean? But here it's, 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 it's a And they're doing well, home. they need the support of Kilmarnock this season, I Def feel like. So everyone, get down here. 100%, you yeah. need to get down here and support Kelly, because I'm telling you, it's amazing and it's easy to support the winning teams but it's harder to support the teams that don't get the wins all the time. So there we have it, two wins against Celtic now this season here at Rugby Park and I may have said once or twice in this video that I thought the league was done and I've been thinking that for weeks and for months but it's getting quite close now at the top um, as all the Rangers fans will be aware, as the Celtic fans will be aware too. Celtic fans let me know in the comments section below how you think the season's going and what you can do to sort of turn things around because I think Although some results have been going your way, I don't think the playing style has been great. Um, it doesn't feel like everyone's maybe pulling in the right direction. I do think they obviously need some new signings, etc. But Killy, let's talk more about them. They've been amazing this season. They're fifth now, and they're only two points off St Mirren, who everyone's been raving about this season. A massive thanks again for watching. It's absolutely Baltic right now. I'm like shivering as I just do this little outro. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave some videos on screen from warmer times. If you could please click on one of these to carry on watching, that'd be amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah, I really appreciate all the support on the Scottish videos and uh, in the new year I'll be getting back out there again to different countries and stuff so um, yeah if you want a flavour of things that aren't as depressing as Ayrshire in the winter then please click on one of the two videos that are on screen right now. Thank you so much. Goodbye.